Hello, and welcome to more Potionomics. You probably won't know if you're watching this recording later, but I'm streaming at an unusual time, well, on an unusual day, because I wasn't feeling well on Tuesday. But it's Wednesday now, and everything is hunky-dory. I think I love the little slime in the pot. Are you supposed to be in there? Get out of there. Anywho, so we won the competition, which is great. Roxanne revealed her true form, which is really cool. And now we have Hipster to contend with. And I guess I have to worry about not going broke and making even more potions. A succulent garden of slime. Okay, now accounting for taste. A trendy sommelier course has taught potion customers to be a bit more discerning, so nobody's gonna want my gross river calamari potions. Good sensation traits. I, I love that misinformation being spread online is a thing in this universe as well. <laughs> Why can't we be living in the universe where, you know, everything is still terrible, but at least I can wear a cute witch hat? Decreased value for enhancers. Okay. I don't know if I really have anything that um, can impart the good sensation trait. Okay. So we got all of this stuff. Um... I guess I'll, I'll sell some of it and make a profit, but maybe I'll also keep um, a couple of them for mints so I can send her on some expeditions. <laughs> a lot of bad taste sensations in those. Um, I'll just, I'll put these up here and just make things look pretty. I mean, nobody can tell they smell bad or cause uh, digestive issues if they're on a display shelf. It's fine. Oh, I should start making antidotes as well. You, you are correct. All wine all tastes horrible to you. Maybe they will want the calamari one more. There we go. I made the poison cure. What? Bad trait, but what is the bad trait? Does it make you witness horrors beyond your comprehension? I mean, whatever. Mint's not gonna complain. She's not gonna know. Alright, greater ice tonic. Greater sight enhancer. Okay, and greater speed potion. Alright, well, let's see these recipes. Oh, there's so many things I can make now. Okay, why don't I have a look um, at the stuff that I can make. So, 343. I have a look here. I guess I could just throw things in here and see what happens. Um, It's hard to resist the urge to try and make everything perfect, and I know I shouldn't try and make everything perfect, but it's just, I have a problem. Okay. Mm. Bad trait, astigmatism. <laughs> Hello, Endora. It's right, everything must be perfect. And I'm never gonna wanna use this. Like, you know me and being unwilling to use items, it's too good. So let me Let me just get rid of this stuff and just Try again in a more organized fashion. So I have these Kappa pheromones. And then let me see if I got some like good bees in here. Or I can just click on it. Um, unstable. That's bad. Um, and then... Where... Ham ha! Hello, Rifam. Also, I've been meaning to ask, what is the thing about painting a wagon that you were gonna share? <sighs> ah, as if I've ever had good bees. Yeah, that's a problem. Well, there's the one in the shop now from Quinn, but I have to be able to afford it. This isn't great, but that's okay. Um, I'm gonna brew this. Thinking about, I should open the shop, but I also want to go out and hobnob with people, so maybe I'll do that. 
Let's let's brew. This is Potionomics, so it's a mixture, um, shopkeeping, card game, and also dating sim, apparently. So I've been told, I just want to be friends with everybody. Um, okay, let's travel. Okay, maybe I can get those mushrooms. And I can actually get another cauldron in play. What'd you bring me? Crocodile tooth? No bees. Murkwater pearl? No bees. Are you still level four, man? You're still level four. Okay. Every time you heard people talk about the Simpsons version of Paint Your Wagon, you thought they were talking about the actual musical for a long while. See, I didn't know it was an actual musical they were parodying. I thought it was just a bit. Okay. Um, health potion. Uh, I don't have enough mana potions. Two. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Well, actually, no. If I. This. If I get rid of this, then I don't think I need the extra mana. Let's try it. Alright, she's gonna need more HP. And more mana. Heck. Well. You know, she doesn't have enough HP. That's still pretty good, though. That's still something. I'm still gonna get loot. I'm just gonna send her off. Apparently when the Simpsons were writing that episode, they saw a poster for Paint Your Wagon and saw it was a musical with Clint Eastwood and Lee Marvin. Since it was the days before YouTube, they couldn't find a copy of the movie. Oh. Look, for, look at the fancy loot bags for after the poison obstacle. Maybe there will be bees. I didn't even notice the fancy loot bags. James L. Brooks said, Nobody watch that movie. Just do what you think it would be. Were they close? What did you bring me? Baptiste, a bog beat. Well, there's the bees. There we go. Except I'm gonna have to feed one to Quinn so they can find more. Static Spiderling, that looks like a Pokemon. Electrocution Eel, well, that is a Pokemon. Um, Cobweb Crayfish. I would like a Ghost Crayfish. Um, I'm trying to think of. Oh, 120. Ugh, it's so expensive. But I should get them just so I can give one to Quinn. Yeah, the eel has a good ABC balance, but it's really spendy. Uh, well, I think... And it's got a good trait, too. I think I'm gonna take the plunge and hope that I can give one to Quinn so I can buy from them. Hopefully for cheaper... The actual musical has nothing to do with painting wagons. Good. Okay, I'm not gonna totally obliterate the ecosystem. I still have some funds. Yeah, you don't have to pose like that. No, who am I kidding? You do. You you really do. Um. He does. Our expedition was a rousing success. Hand you two beats. Okay, here's some stuff. Well, you're, you're gonna have like a well-balanced meal. You got a crocodile tooth for some calcium and a pearl for some more calcium and... What do you get from beets? Fiber. Vitamin A? You're a growing witch, probably. Okay. Um, since our potions won't be ready for another two time slots, I could hang out with someone and rank up iron and beets. There we go. Is there anyone folks would like to hang out with? Folate? What is it that mushrooms have? Is that folate? Was that magnesium? Or something that mushrooms had. Do I have any gifts you would like? You want some slime? Yeah, you do. Look how satisfied they look. This is pretty cool. They wrote the song in five minutes, as they should. That feels on brand. 
Okay, where was the good bee stuff that I had that I gave to you? It was something. Uh, I don't remember. Oh, the, the metal, that was it. Oh, everything is so expensive. Everything is so expensive. Where? Beets are apparently good for folate, vitamin C, potassium, iron, and manganese. Well, thank you. We've all learned something today. No one can say my streams aren't educational. Doesn't, don't these pants drive you crazy? I hate wearing capri pants. Is this the pajama pants I'm wearing right now aren't also capris? I just, I hate that exposed area on my leg, just like I don't like three-quarter sleeves. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna hang out. I'm gonna rank up with Quinn. I think because if you really don't have anything better to do, because I'm hoping we also do some sort of scam like the chocolates. I was surprised you agreed to hang out in here of all places. Yeah, why is that? I feel like that's a little too... You're coming on a little too strong, Sylvia. Your sisters performed it when they were in high school, and if you recall correctly, it's about a western mining town that needs women or something. Huh. Yeah, that does sound a little dull. Does anyone have a thought on which one we pick? I want to know... Because you can either be platonic pals or romance characters in this game. Can you romance more than one at a time? Like, I remember learning in Persona 4, you can technically romance all of the girls, and yet not Yosuke, which is a crime, but uh, they're, they're gonna hate you if you two-time them. And I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. All right. A mining town that needs women, so watership down. <laughs> I mean, I would be much more interested in a western if it had rabbits, I think. You don't seem super sociable. And I definitely didn't have you pegged as a beach person. There's so much stuff that washes up that they could eat, come on. Yeah, you probably should have listened to those instincts. I've totally got an ulterior motive right now. We're here on a mission. You're probably pretty strong, right? Uh, what? All that stirring has got to be good for upper body strength. Okay, now I'm worried. Relax, it's not a big thing. You notice all the pirates over there? With the pointy ears and the cute little noses? I'm supposed to meet with one. He's got a rare ingredient for me. At least, he does if he knows what's good for him. Ooh. I think we should outfox him, except then Quinn might be like, I do the outfoxing. But I mean, Sylvia, I mean, look at those arms. I don't think she's going to rough anybody up. I also love Quinn just using us all the time. I'd be more interested in a western if it had rabbits, so half the Bugs Bunny Yosemite Sam cartoons. Except for the ones where he's not a cowboy, like the whole... Uh, man, I forget what movie it's parroting, where he's a, he's a boat captain. Outfox, alright. You want me to outfox him? Maybe haggle on your behalf? Nah, I'm the mastermind of this operation. You're the muscle, Sylvia. You're here in case things go wrong. So, just stand here and look tough? Tough and disturbed. Maybe you could twist the head off a teddy bear or something. Don't underestimate the shock factor. It pays to put some fear into him right off the bat. <laughs> I love this. I love this, but... Is that... Reduces all interest gained by 20 foot? Is this not a good thing? I... Buh? Like, why would I want to use... I mean, yeah, interest goes up by 17, but then it's a... a loss here. Am I reading this right? Quinn, what are you doing? Mutiny on the bounty, thank you. 
You want unhinged? I can do unhinged. Yeah, I figured. Now get your game face on. If things go to plan, you won't have to crack any heads open tonight. But things so rarely go to plan. Sylvia watches as Quinn saunters up to a pirate in the distance. The pirate's tail flicks with agitation as they talk. The exchange grows heated. Sylvia tries to puff out her chest, but no one is watching her and she feels somewhat ridiculous. Finally, Quinn and the pirate trade envelopes. Look alive, Sylvia. I think they're on to us. On to us? What does that mean? They can't catch us both. And they'll never take me alive. Ha! <laughs> I love Quinn. They're terrible. <laughs> Incredible. Great dirtbaggery. <laughs> Quinn rules. Oh, that's true. Okay, it would be good as a closing. I guess because the, the card has an opener tag that it makes me think, oh, maybe I shouldn't, but... Diversity win. This horrible little gremlin is non-binary. <laughs> And we love them for it. Hang on, I'm just gonna scoot in my chair. Okay, there we go. Um, we could hang out with one more person. Um, sadly, Mint is away. Uh, does anybody want to hang out with someone else? Saffron, Muktuk, or Baptiste? Oh, that's true, an opener on my last turn. I'm just gonna see if I can't give her a gift here. Hello, Rainbow, welcome. You have new goods for sale. Well, not like I can do anything because I don't have any mushrooms or money. Where? Oh, well, here we go. Okay, so I can buy mushrooms. I just have to get money. So I gotta focus on getting money. Knowing Quinn, Shock Factor will show up on turn one and plant the seed on turn five. Yeah. Yeah. Just as they'd want it. What do you like, Saffron? Probably not flesh. I should give one of these to Muktuk. I bet he likes fish. He's a walrus. Uh, probably not slime. I have a Fayberry. Thank you for keeping me in mind. You're welcome. Um, that's true, Muktuk did enjoy Bone. Can I hang out with Baptiste? No, I mean I can, but I can't rank up with him. What do you like, fancy boy? Probably not slime. Quinn is the only slime appreciator here. These are cheap. I'm just gonna give him one. It's nice enough. That's all you're getting, buddy. He seems like a flowers enjoyer. Like, definitely. He's probably got a whole stash in that, that coat of his. <laughs> he is so Lauren-shaped. <laughs> let, me, let me try the river calamari. This gift really tickles my whiskers. But we can't rank up where well, I guess we could just hang out with somebody. Have we done like the basic hangout with Saffron? I don't think we have. I'm gonna try that. Sorry, I'm like going back and forth between everybody. <laughs> Lawrence Von Waluigi. Somebody please oh never mind, we can rank up. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. Tell me your wisdom, Saffron. A shame Belle is in here right now. Let me put my tools aside and give you my full attention. What are you working on? A bit of everything. At the moment, I'm putting the finishing touches on a set of wooden tongs for a pickle merchant. But in the last few days, I've had more commissions than ever before. I had heard the Heroes Guild new ringleader was having some success with his recruitment drive, for better or worse. I suppose I should have realized that more heroes meant more civilians, too. And now, for the first time in decades, town is booming. 
I mean, it's gotta be if they need a whole merchant just to sell pickles. It sounds like you're pretty busy. I could come back later. Don't be silly. If we didn't make time for pleasant diversions, we'd both be working too much. That might be a lesson for your own shop. Sometimes a customer prefers a bit of casual conversation to speedy service. Oh. Again, very cute art. Raises interest by one for every current point of patience. That would be really good at the start. Ooh, or during the competition, because the judge had a lot of patience. This feels exploitable if you draw it. Or does she put her hat on? She has a new hat every day. And she just has to stab the horns through. Or she never takes it off. You're so right! That personal touch is important. Speaking of which... I should probably deliver these tongs in person. But I don't quite know my way around town. How would you feel about showing me around? We don't even get, like, an option to flirt or not. <laughs> We're just flirting. Goodness! So many people! Where did they all come from? It's almost overwhelming. Hmm... I feel like we should be concerned. She weaves the hat around her antlers every day. Maybe the antlers are fake and they're actually part of the hat. <laughs> Do you want to head back? I understand if so. That's kind, but no. My curiosity is piqued. Did you see how many booths are selling ready-to-wear clothing? Doesn't anyone sew at home anymore? Next thing you know, people will be paying money to have strangers prepare their meals. Or cut their hair. This place has changed quite a lot. When I first set hoof to shore, the livestock here outnumbered the people. Why, why would you be this rude? Sign to the Sojourner for Switch is 8 bucks right now. Why don't you do it? Also, I also thought of Signs of the Sojourner. As soon as she said Pickle Merchant, I'm like, what was that guy's name? And then his twin? I don't remember. What brought you here originally, Saffron? Oh, that's a long story. Let's just say I'm another link in a long chain of those who came to Rafta expecting glory. Only to find something else entirely. But that was years ago. Today, I'm content simply to take in the sides. <laughs> I have to pick it. It's so... It's going for the kill, Sylvia. Tosato and Haruta, okay. You're the nicest side around. I'm sure I'm not the only one here who thinks so either. Even more alluring than a jar of pickles, am I? You're fun, Sylvia. I like a gal who knows how to flirt. In fact, it's been such a pleasant outing, I almost forgot we were here on an errand. So thank you, Sylvia, for the gift you've given me today. The gift of your company. <laughs> it is very abrupt. <laughs> Belle, I know you're not here, but I'm picking it for you. Okay, let's go back to the shop. Sylvia is really dumb and corny and into everyone she's ever met. And that's great. I love Dingus protagonists. And you don't get Dingus protagonists that are girls very often. Um, okay, let's have a look at my potions. Should be ready now. I think. Yes. Is that all that it's worth? I hope not. It'd be very sad. Alright, what else do I got? Drowsiness Cure, Alertness Enhancer. I'm assuming all these fancy bottles, that second one looks like a fish, um, are like if we brew more potent versions with more magimins. Once I can get more cauldrons. Um. I wonder if I have this stuff to make a speed potion. It's just been A, B's, and C's for so long. What if I don't want to? 
Oh, enhancers are debuffed today, that's right. I'm glad someone remembers because I'm so scatterbrained when I stream. <laughs> well, I originally came over with a dream, hoping to succeed. Hey, <laughs> you're pretty! Yeah, that's... that's basically it. <laughs> But I, I respect Sylvia being a ding-dong. Um, we've only got one of these. Heck. Okay, that's out. That is that is not happening yet. At some point. Um, I should probably just stick with the basic stuff for now. What doesn't have... Okay, fire tonic. I just need to make money, so I'm gonna make fire tonics. Um, plunk, plunk, and, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. um, plunk, plunk, and then fey berries, plunk, plunk. Okay. It's not perfect, but it'll do. Okay, let's open the shop. I hope nothing goes belly up. I don't have... All right, enhancers... No, that's not an enhancer. Yes? Yes, okay. That's right, this is an enhancer. It says enhancer in the name. Come on, Mori. Get it together. Okay. I hope that's your natural hair color. No need to be rude. Oh. Soothing rain. I mean, again, there's no penalty if I take it and then I don't fulfill it. I'll take it. Minty fresh. I really like, like, gr <laughs> green. Like, this color hair. I was designing a character with hair color like this a couple days ago. But I haven't put the new cards in my deck. Um, but anyway, I wish I could pull it off myself, but I don't think I can. Um, I feel like these, the set em up cards with real em in just aren't really worth it anymore, but whatever. I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna play Bump Up. Okay. Take it. Do some alchemy. Get dollar. Why oh, this guy has like no potion or no no patience, I should say. Oh, but here we go. That's what I needed. Very good. Okay. Uh, close the. If I do another eight, well, I I can't do another eight. But if I did another eight, would that count as closing the deal? I would assume so. When in doubt, walrus shout. Take that to the bank. It's so nice seeing the number go up. Fun outfit. Good to see you. I mean it. I want to spend some money if that's alright with you. I hope this proves I have some sense. Oh. Okay. Towns more reckless thrill seekers have hit upon a potion combo that helps them block it off. Adventurer's hangover. Is she also shirtless under her suit like Helen? Helene? I think it's Helene. I'm not sure. I forget how you say it, but maybe. Okay. Oh, there's plant the seed. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. And I'll skip these. She's got a shield up anyway. Between this potion or a new hat, but you don't need a new hat. Look at that. It's spectacular. Okay. Oh, and there's Captivate. I'll take that. And she's gonna do stress damage, so I will... Do that. Um, I will... Let's, let's just end the turn here. <laughs> well... Helene was wearing a, like, her, uh, coat blazer, but there was no shirt under it. I thought she was just wearing a tie. Oh, there it is. 
but I can't do anything about it. I mean, I can't. I can still use it. I just, you know, I can't be as uh, rambunctious about it with pump up as I would like to be. It's not as... Oh, wait. No, she's only got three patients left. I can't play it. Just kidding. I really can't be as rambunctious about it as I want. Hmm. Oh, well. Nobody has any patience today. Mm, I want to know if I play this and I max it out. Let's find out. So she's out of patience, but... Okay, perfect. So if you max it out, you, you finish the sale. Shouting works? Okay. Mm-hmm. Fire tonic health potion. Outdoor events have proven safer for purposes of hygiene, but the sunburns are nothing to shrug at. Walrus shout never fails. Okay. No. I'll play this. And I'll play pump up. Okay, it's in the turn. Don't make that face right at them. <laughs> I've been having to deal with some really rude customers at my job lately, so I've been very cranky about that. Mm. I'm only gonna get, like, one use of... Uh, plant the seed like one turn's worth but it's still gonna be a decent jump forward so I'll take it well there's captivate um, but it's still not gonna be good enough uh, but I can't close it out thinking here let's do that so I have four patients and then I can play this. And then I'll close it out here. That's something. Okay. Oh, we're making money again. And then soon I can have two cauldrons going at once. <laughs> the Thousand Years Stare returns. I'm kind of curious as to what she starts to look like as the stress meter continues to rise. It's gotta be hilarious, right? Can I overwrite the autosave? Yeah, I'll scroll down. I'll go through the effort of scrolling down. Okay. Let's see. Prepare only your strongest potions, potion seller. Excellent. And it's gone up in quality. Fabulous. Okay. Those are just efficient to make, I think. Like, they sell for a decent price. Um, how many potions do I... I keep doing the backwards of what I want. I should make some more maybe health and mana potions just so I can give them to Mint and hopefully get more stuff from her expeditions. But those fire potions are good to sell. Oh yeah, check my custom orders for anything fun to make. That's a good plan. The thing is, can I actually make some of the stuff asked of me right now? Okay. The problem is I need greater health and mana potions, and I don't think I have the capacity to make those yet. Just with the amount of magimins I need. And the size of the cauldrons I have. I need to upgrade. I need space for a second cauldron. I need more shells? Uh Why did Uncle Not Owl leave this place in such disrepair? Okay. Well, I should do this too before I forget. Um, I'm gonna just get rid of these. I think. And let's see. I'm gonna take shock factor just because the art Quinn has started roping Sylvia into their mischief it's almost like friendship almost 
Uh, I think, yeah, Lightning Tonic and a Speed Enhancer, but they're of a greater quality, which is a problem. I'm going to put another Enthusiasm in there. Um, is there anything I want to get rid of? Hmm. This one would still be good to get early in an interaction, but I'll save this for competitions, I think. It feels okay in regular interactions, unless you get it late, but for competitions... I feel like being able to r mitigate stress would also be useful, but... For now, we can hang out with people, and we learn new techniques. God, you're... Look at a stupid smile. I want to push him over. Ah, this is good enough. Um... More shout. Um, let's see. Um, I think the problem with getting Baptiste and Mint, or why we haven't gotten them up to three hearts, is I keep sending Mint off before remembering, oh, we should hang out with her. And I guess we just need to hang out with Baptiste more as well. It's hard to say no to Quinn, though. Um, can I do A and... No, it was D that I didn't have, I think. Yeah, I did not have adequate Ds. Oh, let me see. Let me see what I got. Oh yeah, that's that's too too potent. I've only got one of these, so it's not really worth doing with what I've got now. Well, I can check the custom orders here. Yeah, greater thunder tonic. Oh, and drowsiness cure. That's the other one. Yeah, Quinn makes it hard to say no to Quinn. Um. Yeah, A, B, and D. I really need that money. I think I just- I'm gonna make another fire tonic. I mean, it's hard to say no to something that's so effective. Um, what else did I have that was C's? That's 24. Too potent. Try not to use all my good stuff. And then we'll just... There we go. Okay. Let's do that. If I say no, they'll just leave me holding the bag. Quinn would definitely throw their partners in crime under the bus. Or under the broom, as it were. Okay, we can't open the shop. But I guess we could travel for now. I'm just gonna... So I'll just leave those in display. I'll just keep the stuff in my inventory for now. Um, let's head out. Yeah, I think I'm gonna give someone a present and check on Mint's progress. What'd you bring me? Ooh, mushroom mire floor. I don't, I don't know like how you just brought carpet and wallpaper back, but sure. Oh, and some beets. Miasma spore. And a swamp fish. This is a Zelda boss. Okay. She brought us paint samples and beets. So Mint went to Home Depot. <laughs> I feel like... Mint would also like flowers, I bet. Do you like plants? I don't have a lot of mandrake roots left, though. I could buy more, I guess. I don't think they were too expensive. Uh, here. There you go. Such enthusiasm. That's true, Swampfish should get D. I'm just gonna, let me have a look here at what I'm up against, okay. So we're gonna need some ice potions for that. Storm planes, okay, so. The uh, lightning potion, shadow step. 
Oh, interesting, and a drowsiness cure as well. Is it 200 money? Oh, it is 200 money. Jeez. I'm not made of this stuff. Um, since we have these fire tonics... Don't give mint the really good ones. Don't give mint the really good ones. Do not give mint the really good ones. Oh, I don't have the mana potions with me. Heck. Do these still drain mana? I'm just gonna- let me test it. They do. Okay. Dang. I didn't bring any with me. Can I go back to the shop without expending a time slot? I don't think I can. Heck. Sorry, Mint. Thought I had him with me, but I'm just... Having a problem. Just I just see blue and I'm like, oh, that's a mana potion. No. No. I'm a ding dong. Um, maybe I'll just send her on a basic expedition for stuff. She, she's level five now. It's pretty good. I'm just, I'm just gonna send her out. I think. Have fun. Yes, it would be awful to run out of mana so close to the end. Why do you only have three men? You're level five. Come on. Okay. Is there a limit to how often I can gift things to people? You're spoiled enough as it is. Okay, so there is a limit. I guess I'll just go back. A very poor stat gross mint, come on. Maybe her IVs are terrible. I remember playing uh, Sun and Moon and discovering that my starter had absolutely garbage IVs. Actually, the Archon that I had been raising I found out had, like, I think a couple zeros. He was bad. <laughs> anyway. Did I forget to lock up again? Well, if it isn't the champion of Rafta. Roxanne! What are you doing here? Take the owl, not me! I have to say, winning that competition doesn't seem to have turned things around much. If this is the state of things after a victory... One has to wonder what a rock bottom would look like. Are you serious right now with the insults? How many times do I have to beat you before you finally lose the ego? You think keeping my chin up in the face of adversity is a flaw? Darling, it's my greatest strength. Well, second greatest. And so you know, I've lost more than you realize. Letting my mask drop felt exhilarating in the moment, but I'm paying the price for it now. Therefore, after great deliberation, I've decided to take you up on your offer. My... offer? Of help, yes! Oh, right! You want, like, a discount, or a... What I need, for the time being, is a place to stay. And I noticed your basement is going unused. I have a basement? Didn't you know? There's a trap door beneath the rug over there. You must have noticed the creaky, uneven floorboards. I chalked it up to shoddy worksmanship. That didn't feel like much of a stretch. Psst. Ow. You didn't think to mention that we have a basement? Your uncle is expanding, but the workers quit when they struck lava. So it isn't finished. Also, as mentioned, there's lava. Anyway, I've had other things on my mind. I can't believe it. A whole basement. And to think I've been sleeping on an old chair. I doubt the space would serve you as a bedroom. It's gloomy down there and quite hot. Not very comfortable for humans. But it suits me perfectly. <laughs> we have to have a demon roomie. In Sun and Moon, your lovely Alolan monk, Muck the Tank Patina turned out to have horrific defense in HP IVs. <laughs> we need the demon roomie. Lava is more reason to bring up the basement. Yeah, is the foundation okay? <sighs> Knock yourself out. I obviously wasn't using it. 
That's marvelous news! Particularly since I've already moved in. You're quite a heavy sleeper, you know. But I'll make it worthwhile for you. I know you've been trolling town for haggling tips. Have you tried a bit of sleight of hand? It's all about drawing the eye to what you want them to see. <laughs> I love her art. Masks the potion's bad traits. Oh, excellent. So you will enjoy my river calamari. I'll admit, that's not a bad technique. I'll be putting it to you soon. I have no time to lick my wounds and no desire to dwell in my defeats. My potions racket may have gone belly up, but I've got a new venture. One that will make use of my honest talents. <laughs> Which one do you two think? I'm gonna have a drink of water in the meantime. make them forget it smells like squid. A uh, magnetic personality? Which talents? Your magnetic personality? And here I thought you were somehow immune to my charms. I meant enchanting, actually. It's the process of using magic to confound and delight the senses. With my abilities, even a drab, everyday potion can be elevated into something extraordinary. I can make it taste sweeter, sound better, look more enticing. You can see how that might come in handy, hmm? Yeah, that could be the edge I need. Come down and see me sometime, and I'll uh, <laughs> show you what I've got. Is this an assignation? Roxanne? She could at least pay rent! <clears throat> Owl, do you pay rent? And don't give me the excuse that you're a bird. <laughs> do potions normally have a sound? <laughs> Tinkle if you break one. Oh yeah, that's right. Roxanne can't pay rent. We bankrupted her. But she's got a side hustle. Oh, that's right. Her eyes, uh, they put it in Thousand Year Door. <clears throat> Stage presence. Oh, hello, Zarthwomp. I am doing better. Thank you very much. And I must apologize again for streaming on a weird day. But hey, I'm glad to play more Potionomics. Crack open a potion and it makes it sound like a Pepsi commercial. One of my coworkers has been playing. Um, uh, like in their playlist, they added redesign your logo. And I asked them, are you familiar with more of Neil Cicerega's work? And they're like, oh, who's Neil Cicerega? Is he in Lemon Demon? And I had to say, Neil Cicerega is Lemon Demon. Blew their mind. Award bait. Thanks to a savvy stage play with a message about appreciating the beauty of everyday life, the public is newly interested in sense-enhancing potions. All right. Okay, and a popular a popular sommelier course has taught potion customers, consumers, they pay more heed to aroma. I've forgotten that I was excavating space underneath the shop. The idea was to make room for more equipment. Use the ladder to check out the basement. I think Roxanne is down there as well. All right. I, I did play some of the Mouth albums. Quite roomy. Seems that they didn't finish the job, though. Probably stopped when they saw Lava. Or stopped getting payments from Uncle. Oh, I guess that's... I guess that was, uh, uh... Sylvia, sorry. I thought it was Roxanne. I thought, wait, how does she know about Uncle? Well, you've already made yourself comfortable, huh? So, like, can I put stuff down here? I guess. No, I can't. Well, then what is the point, Roxanne? <laughs> you know, he's not even pretending not to be Oswald. He's giving up the pretense. 
So it looks like I can customize down here, but yeah, she is. Is she sitting on a wash tub? It looks kind of like a spool. Like you would put wire or rope around, except she's put a cushion on it. I like the, the bathrobe, I guess. Do you go bathing in this? Again, super cute art. Well, I guess... Well, she's got a bed and everything. And meanwhile, Sylvia's still sleeping in a chair. That is not good for your back, girl. Okay. Okay, that's good. Um... Might as well get something brewing while I'm here. I really do need to work on the stuff that I'm going to need for the competition, but... Um... I wonder if I, like, have enough to... Well, I shouldn't worry about the alertness enhancer. I need to focus on the stuff that I'm uh, going to need. Is this what happens to rivals we def defeat? We keep them hostage in our torture dungeon basement? Well, Roxanne is clearly right at home in the torture dungeon. I don't want a hipster in the torture dungeon. No hipsters allowed. Boy, this would be really good, except uh, that there's no bees. Never mind. Yeah, our rivals just come swanning into our shop like, Oh, hello, Rumi. I don't think Roxanne is capable of not swanning or sauntering or swaggering. It's got to be some combination thereof. Oh, D. I gotta give these to Quinn, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Beats, baby. I should have bought more stuff from Quinn the other day and I forgot. Well, good thing I have all this river calum. <laughs> uh. Um... Hmm, still not perfect, but it's good enough. Did I have... yeah, the slime. Hmm, I wonder how much I can send it out of whack. Just to get more magimins in there. She can't walk like a normal person. Demons are required to be hams. And the tail would affect her balance, that too. Well, this takes a while to brew. I guess I could use some uh, fuel here. And then do the same thing I did yesterday. Let this brew go and hang out with people. Actually, let's open the shop. And then while well, this brews. Okay. When we get to the hipster, we'll make great use of the lava pit. I like the way you think. Okay, let's brew it. It's gonna smell weird, but that's what Roxanne's for, right? Okay. When we get to the hipster, just give him to Roxanne. <laughs> Look, I don't want to know what you're gonna do to this guy. Just keep him out of my sight. Here you go, Roxanne. Enrichment. What, like she's a caged tiger? What, what do you mean, what did Roxanne do to me? She made fun of me. She made fun of my potions. Okay, I'm gonna take this out so I can give it to Mint. And I'll just plunk something here. Nice and shiny. Maybe I'll also move down a health potion so I can also have one to give to Mint. Plunk. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's open the shop. Did I already fiddle with my deck enough? Well, I guess I have Roxanne's. So I guess she's like one of the, the characters you can also romance. No longer intent on destroying Sylvia, and with nowhere else to go, Roxanne has moved into Sylvia's basement. 
How did your outfit work? Like, are these straps connected to this strap? And I guess you're just wearing, like, a coat and gloves? I don't know. Love the glasses, though. Um, okay, that's... Light close it out, it looks like. I think? Hang on, let me double check. Okay. Oh, I see. So, yeah, and also, if you use it as a closer, then... You don't have to worry about the, uh, uh, taste or whatever bad trait affecting something. So yeah, let's just do that. Suspenders on her skirt, plus a tube top. Oh, so the, this, these straps aren't even connected to the top. I don't understand your fashion, Roxanne. Like, I don't know how it works, but I dig it. And a detached collar and a coat. Maybe if you're a demon, you can just make stuff stick. You don't have to worry about wardrobe malfunctions. Lots of noise outside, and not a single bird. I've had my eye out for something like this. I don't have any birds for you, but... What's this? Oh, okay. Well, I don't have any debuffs to apply, so that's fine. Do this. You have so much patience. I mean, this is almost really good, but I want to see if I get pump up or not pump up. You know, shout that one. How the fashion works is sleight of hand. I should have known. Hey, you want a bird? Look at her uncle. Just totally not her uncle. Well, it's so potent, but yeah, it's not gonna be good. Oh, there is enthusiasm. Oh, sympathy is good too, but I just, I need to yell. I need to yell. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. Um, I'm gonna do that. Now I'm just gonna do this too, actually. And then, yeah, this maxes out, so... Cool. That's not a lot of money, but it's still money. I wish I was... Uh, dexterous enough to do fun hairstyles. Not exactly like this, with the, the dopey little ponytail, but... Like, braids. But my hair isn't long enough, and also I'm a little clumsy. I went to school for this living the dream. You know, I once, a couple weeks ago, a few weeks ago, I don't remember, time is fake, but I had a customer tell a coworker next to me, like, oh, you're working in a coffee shop, huh? You're living the dream. I bet you love your job and you're gonna look back at this and think these are the best years of my life. And it's just, tiny part of me wanted to just turn and go, sir, Shut up. <laughs> anyway, I wish I had pump up, but I don't. I do have sympathy in effect. So that's still pretty good. I mean, it's a lot, but it's 20. Like, look at that. Look at that. Dang. Wait, grappling hook thing with her tree arm? Did she? <laughs> Customer destroyed. Muktuk will never be the secret boss. Muktuk would never turn on me. Okay, I'm gonna do this. What do you look so gloomy about? Oh, I see. Again, I love this card art. I still don't understand your outfit, though. Wish I could just ask the devs. So, like, how does Roxanne's outfit work? They, they might just say, like, demon magic, and I'd be like, yeah, that's fair. No, I don't want this now. I need this later. Uh, I'm gonna play that. Okay, I don't think I can stack it. So, I'm gonna end the turn. 
the fur coat isn't a coat, it's just demon fur. <laughs> Oh, there's Captivate. I'll take that. So I do want to try and keep um, plant the seed going. It's going to lose four. Um, okay. She's just fluffy. <laughs> they shed like crazy. Good luck cleaning your basement. Oh, good. Hey, Cosmo, you hear that? No, he's... I don't know where he is. Um, okay, I, I can just play this and it should max it out. There we go. Perfect. Oh, I got a Chivo. Except it's chump change. It's probably having more than 500 gold on you at a time. Because I'm broke. Put Cosmo on blast. There's so much fur. When I sit on the couch, we have a towel on the back of the couch and on one of the arms of the of, of the couch for Cosmo to sit on. Like they're just his towels. But if I make the mistake of accidentally leaning against it, I am covered in fuzz. I can't afford an expansion now. I have to think about it, though, because if I buy that expansion, then I'm not going to have enough much money left for other things while I'm out and about. Oh, we got an eyeball. It's kind of a crudely drawn eyeball, but we got an eyeball. It's <laughs> kind of a dubious eyeball, but I'll take it. Still not good enough. We need a better drawn eyeball, but... Um... Let's get something brewing. And I think I don't fire potions just seem good to make for the sake of making money. But I should probably make some mana potions so I can give them to mint. I think of doing this and I'm like I don't have enough bees and then I stop. But I've got these serpent tongues that should be adequate, I think. And then Okay, there we go. Um, I will maybe add one, oops, log. And then we can go hang out. You have to sometimes literally dust your computer chair off because Jolene just leaves so much fur behind. Oh, it's orange too. I mean... I, is there really, like, any one color of cat fuzz that's less obnoxious to deal with than the rest? Not really. Cosmo's gray and white, so it doesn't matter what color you wear, it's going to show up. Okay, let's travel. Oh! So how come I can't access your services while I'm in the basement of the shop? Why do I have to travel? Well, look who it is. Feast your eyes on this. Okay, I see. So I wonder if this makes an oral fixation, huh? Again, I guess they really are hearing like the, the sound of a Pepsi cracking open. Um, I'm wondering if Really, Roxanne? Really? Um, like, if these kick in for the whole day? That's expensive. What do you like, Roxanne? Do you also like slime? <laughs> I'm gonna give her the slime. How thoughtful! Maybe it's good for her skin. We can rank up already, huh? I kinda wanna. Willa was white mostly, so you just gave up. <laughs> okay. Not great, but... Um... I always said I was gonna try and hang out with, like, Mint, but I wanna hang out with Roxanne. I just wanna hang out with Quinmore. More dirt baggery. They're hilarious. 
Um, let's try and send Mint on a more successful expedition this time. Since I've actually got some... Well, one mana potion. Um, it's only going to restore it by two, though. She's still not going to be able to finish. Ugh, maybe I should just hold off and then come back later. And send her on an expedition later. We should also level up Baptiste, you're right. I'm gonna give Mint a gift. Uh, actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off. Because you're already good to rank up. Um I should go to Saffron before I forget and get another cauldron, because more cauldrons mean I can make more potions. Okay. Oh, except I don't know if I can actually get the upgrade yet because I need to buy them. No, okay. Couldn't remember how many mushrooms I needed. We're okay. Ooh. Ooh. We're only gonna have 112 left. Alright. Uh. I bought the right thing, right? Right? Yes, I did. I did. I'm just having all these doubts. Let's see what Quinn's got. And I have to give them the stuff that I got from Mint. Okay, here you go. Maybe they're like Kirby. Like, maybe there's just a dimension in there. Oh, that's right. We gotta level up Muck Tuck as well so we can master the art of yelling at people. Yelling and flailing. We're gonna be so powerful. <laughs> Cheers. And then they just... Maybe they jab a straw into the slime and just slurp it up like a Capri Sun. Ugh. Um, let me just like look at my recipe book really quick. So A, B, and C. What's this? Oh, I can look at the stuff that I have. That's good to know. Um, yeah, I think berries and roots are basics as well too. So at least they're they're cheap. feel cheap, but... Oh. So broke. So broke. I'm gonna buy some of these, too, just because I have so few sources of bees. Oh, except... Oh, yeah. Bad, bad smell. Like, I should probably... I mean, they're cheap ingredients, but I should probably try and avoid using them just because of the bad smell. The hive slime is good... good seas. Why does Xenoplasm have, like, bad sight associated with it? Like, people aren't gonna know. The Daydream Palm be good? Do I have one of those? No, I don't have any of them. I think I- did I use it? That's right, I do have Roxanne's card. I can tell people there isn't bad smell. I can- am I gaslighting people? Not exactly, but, you know, like... Are you sure this doesn't have a weird aroma? No, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Uh, bad taste? I mean, I don't love beets, but... I think they taste bad. Mm. I feel like maybe I should hold off on buying things until I can make more fire potions and make more money. Because I need A's and C's for those, so I should focus on the A's and C's. Um, it's only four, but they got the good smell. Um, there's nothing wrong with hive slime. Bye. Hive slime. Oh, just one hive slime. Beets taste kind of like dirt, but it's fine. My dad was saying he was thinking about making borscht, and I'm like, eh. I already gave you- what do you mean you've got enough crap? 
You don't, because you just eat it. Um... I think they both have good themes, but yeah, Muktox has the most drama. Alright, cool, I got an Electros, and I got a Fire Flower. Cool. Apparently, bad smell, I guess. Maybe it's not so much that it smells bad, but it just burns your nose. Um, I guess I can't rank up with him? It's kind of a shame. Is there anyone I can rank up with yet? Um, I guess I can give him a gift in the meantime. Uh, sorry, I don't- well, I have a flower, but you're not getting this. Oh, look at that, it's gold, it's shiny. Whatever. Probably smells like burning. Um, is there anyone I can hang out with and get, like, an enhanced card from? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna hang out with Mint. It's it's been a long time coming. How about your place? Deciding who to hang out with is so much pressure. I swear I stepped in every puddle on the way over here, and half the chewing gum. That's something they don't tell you about city living. People just drop their gum wherever they want. Oh, but don't listen to me, Sylvia. I'm just in a mood today. No harm done. You want to talk about it? I'd rather do something. That's why I asked to come over. Is the fire under your cauldron good and hot? Sure. You want to brew some potions? I was thinking more along the lines of comfort food. Let's bake! I don't know if you want to bake in the same cauldron that we make potions in. Like, Sylvia's face is my face. Like, mm, is that a good idea? While well, Sylvia gets the fire going, Mint dusts the countertop with flour. There are people in this town who have no cookies, Sylvia. And that is an injustice I cannot allow to continue. Mint plops a massive cookie dough onto the counter and begins flattening it with her hammer. Sylvia almost asks whether that's sanitary, but she decides she doesn't really want to know the answer. Once the cookies are baking, Mint exhales in relief. You seem to be working out some aggression on that dough. A little bit, yeah. The thing is, and I hate to admit this after working so hard to get here, but I'm struggling to find my place in the guild. What if I never fit in? This kind of just feels like, yeah, I have the same problem, so yours isn't important, and I hate it when people do that. You feel like Mint and Sylvia are a good combo because they're both dumb. Capital D, dumb, yes. I'm in agreement. So don't try to fit in. Carve out your own space, and they'll have to make room for you. Say, that was basically my whole motto back home. It's somehow harder here, though. I'm not used to second-guessing myself, but I'm also not used to being surrounded by actual, honest-to-goodness heroes. Some of whom are legends, doing the best work of their careers. And we're all competing for the same quests, the same loot. Talk about intimidating. I wanted to join the guild since I was a little kid, but nothing in my childhood prepared me for this. Like, why do they give you the option to be rude? I want to hear what sorts of adventures you had as a kid. That's the thing, though. My hometown was too quiet for adventures of any kind. We didn't even have a local chapter of the guild. The nearest heroes were leagues away. I read everything about them I could get my hands on, from dusty library tomes to trashy gossip magazines. I hounded every bard in town to sing the ballads until I'd memorize their exploits. The more I knew, the easier it was to daydream that I was one of them. So you were the kind of kid who had her head in the clouds. Literally. I was always looking out for dragons. But the whole area was monster free. No matter how hard I looked, I never found gremlins in the cookie jar or slimes in the shrubs. 
I couldn't even find any side quests. The closest I got was the time old man Harwell's walking stick broke. I had to track down some tape. And that's what passed for excitement back home. So, yeah, I'm feeling a little bit out of my depth here. But I've come up with a plan. I think it's a good one. What does this even mean, Mint? Unless you're like, oh, are you cute and clever? Yeah, Mint, don't worry. You're the only hero we can afford. No one is competing for your jobs. Maybe she shouldn't level up too much in case she winds up leveling up out of our tax bracket. Which one do you, you folks think? I mean, uh, I'm gonna take a drink of water in the meantime. I've had to, I had to shout a lot at work today because we were busy, so my doubt's a little dry. That's better. I just, I, I worry, like, if I keep picking the, the flirty option with everyone, I'm gonna upset somebody. Mmm... Mm. I kind of like just being bros. I had a feeling you'd have a plan. You don't seem like the wallowing type. No way. I'm a tank. And tanks keep moving forward. So let's hear this plan. Like all the best plans, it's simple. Every hero has their tools of the trade. And every famous hero I read about as a kid had a famous weapon. Wielding a one-of-a-kind legendary weapon is a surefire way of proving I deserve to be here. Ooh, that's tough. See, this is just prodigal, and, well, we know how that worked out. I mean, she's got a hammer. Presumably she has a sword. I mean, every hero has a sword. Maybe your thing should be the, the cookie hammer. Let's get you a hammer! Something epic! That is certainly my weapon of choice! But I may have to take whatever I can find. There aren't enough legendary weapons to go around. Everyone that's accounted for has been claimed. However, plenty of weapons have gone missing over the years. Some of them right here on the island. They're out there waiting to be rediscovered. I've just got to track one down. A great labor to win my place among the legends. Speaking of great labor, I should be getting back to work soon. But I have to say, I like this plan. Me too! I'm confident I've got the skills to search for legendary loot and battle beasties at the same time. Fight off enough slimes and you'll learn to let muscle memory guide you. Same for haggling with customers, probably. Hmm. Oh, but it's free. That's pretty good. Can't be free. I'm definitely picking up some good moves. You and me both. Let's show everybody what we've got. Starting with these cookies. They smell ready to me. You didn't, like, just dump the dough in the cauldron, right? Presumably you've got them sitting on the fire over the cauldron. Okay, um... Hang on, I need to give Muck Tuck a fish. <laughs> I should get back to work. Goes back to the guild hall with Mint. I'm on break. It's fine. Yeah, free interest. That's a good card. Okay. Have a fish. Have a stinky fish. Man, his theme is so fun. Okay. I'm gonna go back to the shop. I feel so bad leaving Muck Tuck. Like, he always seems genuinely sad to see us go. Okay, before I forget, um, I need to take something out of here. Maybe I'll take out a shock factor. And... What do I want to take up? I'm gonna take out Keep Your Guard Up because customers don't always attack my stamina, so... Okay, uh, I will take muscle memory. Excellent. Again, I love Mint's freckles and the uh, the leaves on her little ponytail. Very cute. 
The people most interested in Sylvia's dumb flirting are Saffron and Muktuk. <laughs> I feel like Quinn is immune to flirting. Quinn doesn't want to flirt. Quinn just wants to do crime. Oh, I can put up two cauldrons now. Hang on, let me bottle this. Yeah, okay, baby, it's got something wrong with it, but, you know, don't... Hang on, really quick. Or is... I guess it's not ready yet? I think? No, it is. It is ready. Okay, I was like, wait, do I have to wait until tomorrow? No. She works very fast. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna put this here. Perfect. That's... that's fun looking. Okay. Let's brew. Quinn wants money and to eat foreign objects. Oh, I had this cauldron, but then I, I got I got this cauldron and then I bought another one right after, which maybe wasn't financially sound, but it, it's fine. It's it's fine probably. Um Okay. So you need to make more health potions as well. Okay, let's brew that. Need cauldron to make cauldron. Okay. I really need bigger cauldrons too. I think that should be maybe the next thing. Well, I was gonna say should be the next thing I upgrade, but more shells would be good too. Ugh. So much pressure. C's again. What do you mean unicorn horn tastes bad? That's true. What if we just flirt with Muktuk and get a coupon? <laughs> I, don't know, I feel I feel a little underhanded. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna get in good with this walrus, so he gives us a discount. Oh, I forgot to feed that to Quinn. That's fine. I mean, it's not like I'd be buying one tomorrow anyway. Um. I guess just the stinky fish. Stinky fish. Okay, there we go. That's true, we do legitimately like the walrus. I just, I don't want to, you know, abuse the walrus's hospitality. You're right, it's not dishonest, it's quid pro quo. And that's business, baby. Okay, put some stuff on the shelves. Well, I can't put this in the competition, so... This would almost be good to use with Roxanne's services. But... Uh, her services are very expensive and we're broke. So, it's a moot point. Okay, uh, let's... I'm gonna save again. I save a lot. I know I save a lot. It's, it's a problem. That was a weird slot to save and whatever. Let's open the shop. Make some money. There are many benefits to being a marine biologist. <laughs> Such as walrus friendship. What is those gestures? Okay. Play that. Play that. Yeah, I feel like I should take sympathy out. It doesn't really do much good for me. That's right, it pains Muktuk to charge me. I'm just relieving him of the burden. Genius. Oh, pump up and enthusiasm. Heck yeah, wait, hang on. Okay, no, that's not the one. Yeah, I can't do sympathy. Ha 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 ha. Feels so good to do that. Mm, I love making money. I love making money. Got a shield up, which isn't great. Oh, I really wish I had the um uh the one from Baptiste that would give me more patience so I could play pump up and enthusiasm. 
but I, I can't. I don't. And that's a shame. But I'll just play this to get it to go as high as possible. And then I'll play this. Actually, I could get it to max out, couldn't I? So... Uh, there we go. Okay. Thanks for shopping locally. That's right. He crafts not for money, but for the art. So for those who make his art better, he can pass on the savings. Oh. This town comes alive at night, don't you think? I'll admit, I'm curious about this one. How kind of you to actually come in and... Uh, like, pay for it? <laughs> I'm trying to think of a, a nice way to say not steal it while I'm asleep, but I mean, there's Oswald. Owl? Oswald. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna build rapport just so I have that sympathy bonus here. Okay. All about conviction. Owl's Waldo. Oh, I just noticed cunning socialite. Is that what we're calling her? Oh, I love... I love getting this one. <laughs> so good. So good. I'm not really using Presty Attack much. I could probably get rid of that one, too. Your terms are acceptable. You gotta make sure that's not, like, fake money. Okay. I don't really like using the draw cards one because I might get something that I want to play in another turn. She swaggers out and then comes back in and goes down the ladder. We don't make eye contact. It's very awkward for us both. Um, that's good, because this gives me an idea of what I can excise from my deck. God, I love this stupid eye on this. Like, it's so poorly drawn. Okay, let's build rapport. And we'll play muscle memory. You know what? Heck, let's just take advantage of that. Okay, pump up. Okay. Well, I didn't get enthusiasm, but I did get a uh, sleight of hand, so that's not bad. Um, what do I still have to draw here? I mean, there's pump up and enthusiasm again. Is it worth waiting for it, though? I mean, these do have stuff wrong with them, and I do need to mask the potion's bad traits, so I might do that. Not that there's anything wrong with this potion. Yeah, what flaw? It must be a trick of the light. <laughs> the bad smell is just a trick of the light. Yeah, 78% markup. Now, where did I put that dustpan? Hello? Hey, sorry to barge in like this. Can I hang out in here for a minute? I'm trying to give somebody the slip. Yeah, of course. I'll put up my clothes sign and lock the door behind you. That's good of you. Are you in some kind of trouble? Should I call the guard? It's nothing serious. Just some guy with a camera, and no respect for a person's privacy. But hey, this is a cool shop. I dig the whole vibe. Thanks! I'm Sylvia, and this is my place. Can you not keep winking at us? That's kind of uncomfortable. Right on, Sylvia. I've always been so impressed by potion makers. That's a skill I just don't have. I'm guessing you're some kind of performer? You've got the look. 
Guessed it in one, yeah. I'm a bard. I've been playing at the Heroes Guild. It's the most fun I've had in ages. Demanding work, though. Heroes get rowdy between quests. Between that and staying one step ahead of nosy journalists, I'm practically asleep on my feet. Well, you're welcome to rest here as long as you need. I appreciate that. Seriously. But it looks like the coast is clear out there. And I've got to get back to the guild hall before Baptiste takes to the stage with his amateur ventriloquism routine. Thanks for letting me hide out. That was cool of you, Sylvia. I hope I'll see you around. You didn't even get their name, you ding dong. She was nice. And clearly juggling too much. I can relate. I bet a mana potion would be just the pick-me-up she needs. Zid? Sid? I'm not sure you're supposed to say it. The Heroes Guild bard in residence is one free sample away from becoming a customer for life. Have you learned from Quinn's chocolate sample stealing exploits? Well, it's not really stealing, but I should have asked for her autograph. I gotta make a beefy mana potion. Oh, there's many beefy potions I need to make. Between Oswald faking his death to escape his debts, never! And Sylvia being an accomplice by hiding a criminal, you guess crime rents in the family. You can see it now, Baptiste and his puppet, Little Baptiste, which is just a miniature version of Baptiste with a cartoonishly large head. You know, so you can't tell the difference between the regular one, is what you're saying. I should really learn that automated broom and mop spell. <gasps> Sylvia, hi! I'm Luna. It is a real pleasure to meet you. Your pupils keep changing size and I'm concerned. That's the warmest welcome I've had in a long time. It's no less than you deserve. I mean, I saw you at the competition. The whole town did. Cool under pressure. Knowledgeable and confident. I'm talking about you, FYI. But are you ready to seize the opportunities that your victory is bringing your way? Hmm? Claire, did you design this person? <laughs> I have to pick it. I mean, Sylvia is that dopey. Are we flirting right now? Because I'm kind of into it. Atta girl. <laughs> All that and funny too? You are the full package, Sylvia. As for me, I'm here in my capacity as founder and sole proprietor of Rafta's newest, best, and boldest marketing agency. Now, I know what you're thinking. Do I even need marketing, Luna? I'm killing it without resorting to your absurd tricks, Luna. Shut up about marketing and take a day off before you crash and burn, Luna. <laughs> well, I'm biased, I know. But I still think marketing is the right choice for your business. I like her little, like, snub nose. It's cute. Rafta's economy is in constant flux. It's total chaos. At least, it appears to be. But getting the right message out there at the right time. TLDR, it gives you an advantage. And I would like to humbly suggest that you enjoy having one of those. I love that phone case as well. I'd say I want that phone case, but I've always thought the ones with rabbit ears would be kind of annoying to put in your pocket. <laughs> it took you an embarrassingly long time to realize Luna is not a rabbit person with four arms. Well, why not? She could be a moth and a rabbit. It would be a nice change of pace. Being the underdog gets old. I knew you'd see the sense in it. Well, you certainly make a compelling pitch. Aw, thanks. Anyone who's selling anything should refine their elevator pitch, you know? Start strong and the sky's the limit. Oh, this art is so cute. Claire, I, I just, I'm not sure if Claire did not design this character. I know they didn't, but it just feels very them. Draw on an opening hand, only be played at certain transactions. Okay, that's pretty good. Like, a guaranteed good card to start with. I can see the wisdom in that. I know, right? 
So listen, come by my office soon. We'll take chaos in our hands, and we'll squeeze it and smother it and crush it, Sylvia. We'll crush it. It'll be fun, I promise. Luna Best Moth, I love her. I have this thing, which obviously you can't see, that I gesture a lot when I talk. And sometimes when I'm reading a character's dialogue, I find myself mimicking the movements and expressions they make. And for Luna, I kept doing the hands up to glasses thing, but I had to stop myself because it just, you can't keep doing that, it gets awkward. Anyway, a vegan-led protest of the Heroes Guild has resulted in a slowdown in the distribution of animal products. Flesh and bone will cost more now. And Katunatite? Is it a noxious algae bloom or the spilled blood of a deep water deity? Either way, the red tide is wreaking havoc on the marine ecosystem. Oh. Well, not like we can really send mint out there anyway. <laughs> what time is it? Okay, I think we can do one more day. One more day. It's so hard to stop. Okay, I have to give stuff to Quinn. I must give stuff to Quinn. And buy stuff. Now that I'm not super broke. Um, okay. Uh, I should brew something, because it feels wasteful to not always be brewing something. Um, even if not, not, I'm not brewing something super high-end, I think it's still worth, like, even just doing a minor health potion just so I have stuff that I can sell. Boy, that's really, like, a really sad amount of magimins, but whatever. I need it. Okay, and then this one's done. Fire tonic of taste bad and bone hurting juice. But, I mean, it's good profit. It's good profit. We can't say no to good profit. I don't have unicorn horns for more of it, though. Um... Uh, yeah, heck it, slime. There we go. I'm gonna brew that. I feel like I'm focusing too much now on making money when I really need to try and get some stuff for the later competition, or the next competition, rather. But it's just actually getting the ingredients and being able to afford the ingredients. Oof, ow, my bones. Why did I drink this? Because I used sleight of hand to trick you into thinking it would be good for you. That's marketing, baby. Okay. Um, let's see. So these are going to be ready in two. Um, maybe I will open the shop, make a little more money, and then go out and just go to town and getting ingredients and stuff. I think that seems sensible. Hang on, I have to... What's what's the... Okay, oh, it's just, just for ingredients costing more, so nothing actually sells for more. So that's fine. Um, okay. Okay, okay. Um... Uh, I'll put the more valuable stuff out. Okay. And yeah, okay. Do that. Make some money. Um, ooh, 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 deck builder, that's right. Um, I'm gonna get rid of... Uh, let's... Press the attack. Much as I love the art here, what are you playing? Is It looks like chess, but not chess. Um, I'm gonna put in Luna's card. Oh, this art is so dang cute, and I love her outfit. I look so cozy. Uh, Tricorn Witch Hat is a new one. I'm wondering... Can I play... No, I can't. I can't play them both, so there's no... Is there any point to putting two in your deck? 
I mean, I don't feel. I feel like probably not, because I don't think adding applying sympathy would stack. So I'm just gonna put in the one. And I guess I have room to put something else in. Um, something else I want to put in. If there's anything else I want to put in. Mm. Maybe I'll just put in shock factor because the art is really good. <laughs> okay, let's open the shop. I should draw some art for this game because the character designs are fun. I haven't been able to draw much lately just due to pain, which sucks. Okay. Do I have to play this first? I'm not sure. Let's find out. Okay, yeah, I do have to play it first. Okay, well now I know. So not just in like the initial hand, but it has to be the first card that you play. Well, good thing I didn't put two in my deck or I would have felt very silly. Then why did I give you two? Okay, let's end the turn. Who would I want to draw? It's a good question. I mean, I just, I like Luna's design a lot. Very fluffy. Um, but Quinn also looks like they would be a lot of fun to draw because like, just the gremlin energy, the bags beneath the eyes, the cool hat. I mean, you can't, you can't say no to a cool hat. Okay. In the turn. But all the designs are pretty cute. Quinn is just such possum vibes. They really do have strong possum vibes. I'm not sure what it is. Like if it's the eyes, just the whole general, the colors, just how generally disheveled they look. I need some fingerless gloves. Sympathy. So I get more bang for my buck here. Oh, and then I can play Sleight of Hand. I don't think there's anything wrong with this potion, but you know, still. It's their propensity for eating trash. You know, you're exactly right. Oh, you're back. Look at the beak. I love that everybody has noses. Oh, okay, so uh, now now I can play this. Okay. Be better if I didn't have a stress card in my hand. This this is how I just feel all the time, but especially at work. Oof. Why is your patience so low? Holy smokes. I just noticed. Why do you have no patience? Ugh. Have you started your taxes yet? It's November. Get on with it. Uh, okay, I'm gonna play this. Okay, and then I'll play build rapport just so... And then I'll close the deal. Gotta get an early start on taxes for 2022. Sylvia, the place is sparkling today. I've got an idea if you've got the potions. Oh. Luna wants to experience a day without glasses. Well, if I make enough of these that I have one to, or I have two to spare for you, but also for the competition. Oh, awesome. But I need instant gratification too. This potion might be the one for me. What do you think? I'm gonna play your own card right back. You. What is this? Irritability. You're also low on patience. I guess you are a busy professional. Not really great. Not really great, but I guess... She can only go so far. 
Luna is too online. It's still weird to me. Like, not in a bad way, but it's... Uh, you know, internet exists here. Oh, this isn't even a, a stinky potion. Um, let's play that. And then I'll just play this. Okay. Sylvia, thank you! It's a bargain! It's a deal! There she goes. What do you mean Mori and other Mori in a clash of negotiations? <laughs> it's not even a stinky potion, but it is a great closer. Okay. Let's brew, and then we're gonna go hang out with people. Yeah, we made so much money back! The magic of two cauldron! I love not being totally broke. Which is, uh, is great. Because I'm gonna need to spend even more money. I need more shelf space. Uh, here's a stinky potion. Well, I guess it's not stinky, it's just a potion of, like, burns your tongue and crushes your bones. Okay. I really need to get more ingredients because I'm just running out of stuff to make potions with, but it's gallingly inefficient to not brew anything. Um. Mm. Do I have any teas that I can make good use of yet? Oh, there's a. I still have to give that to Quinn. Still have to give that to Quinn. Do not forget. Do not forget. I've only got that one Murkwater Pearl, so I'm gonna need to get more of those first. And then we can start talking here. So perhaps. Not yet. Not yet. Um. Hmm. Oh, what's the slime again? Slime is a C. It's already full. It's already full. Good enough. Good enough. Um, I should maybe get more uh, wood at some point, too. I keep, let's do the opposite of what I think they should do. It's messing with me. Lots to open the shop, so. Well, no, because then I'd go out and then. Maybe it's better to just hang out with more people, so I'm not gonna worry about that. I'll just brew it. Okay. Let's travel. I'm gonna have many hangouts. Okay, what do you got for me, Luna? Thanks for dropping in! What is going on here? Oh, your little tea set's cute, though. Let's make a plan! A marketing plan! Okay, oh, I see, so it enhances the price. Okay. I don't really have any mana potions to... Well, I do have some to sell, I think. What do I got? I feel like I do have, I do have some to sell, actually. <laughs> and they're low quality. Um, I'm a little curious about the effects. Um, I have to make more mana potions, though, to really... They're not that expensive, though. I kind of want to know. Let's let's try it. Let's make our mark on the market. What do you like, Luna? Do you also like slime? I'm gonna say she probably doesn't like slime. You probably like fruit, right? I mean, you're a moth. Hold on, I've got to get a pick of this. Oh, she's gone full anime on us. What? She's got a cracked screen on her phone. Luna, take better care of your stuff. 
when you've got four hands to not drop it with. <laughs> I missed her phone being cracked. Okay, you're gonna eat my Electros. Is anyone here trained in Electros? It's at the bottom next time I look. Okay, thank you. I got a Chivo, a taste of success. I guess I fed Quinn enough trash. Hang on, you need some slime. They look so pleased to get slime. Okay. Oh, it's more expensive. Right, right. Because of veganism. Oh, this is cheap, though. Oh, xenoplasm is a deal. Uh, kappa pheromones. Yeah, sure. I'll get I'll get these kappa pheromones while they're on sale. I'll get the unicorn horns while they're on sale. Just buy out your stock of those. What was the one that I needed these for? Speed potion is C and D. A and D, and then A, B, and C. Okay. But of course, the one that, uh, the D, this, this has D, but it doesn't combo with the ones that I actually need, so that's a waste. These are good A's, though. Um, what else do you have in here that's on sale? Get some crocodile teeth. I don't want to, like, spend all of my profits, but also I really should take advantage of these sales. Actually, I don't want to go too ham, because I need money for these. That's right, spend money to make money. That's what I was telling myself the beginning. At the beginning, rather. That's right, moths don't have fingers. It's gotta be hard. Hang on, let me have another look here. Okay, yes, C and D, A, D, C, D, A, D, C, D, A, D, wait, 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 was I mistaken? Oh, it is A, D, okay, never mind, I was thinking B, D. I'm gonna take these. Oh, that's so expensive. Um, where were you again? You're also A and D. have them. Don't have a lot of bees, so I'll take these. I'm spending so much money. And this is also on sale, so let's get some of these. Okay. These are just good A's. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some of these. Okay. And just a couple of the basics. I don't have enough to invest in Baptiste. I'm gonna go without the basics for now. Yeah, the inventory menu is there mimics teeth around you. You think if you fail to pay up, they bite you? Hello, fancy boy. Hello, Belle. I am feeling better, thank you. Um, we did flirt with Saffron a little more, and I was sad you were not here, but I was thinking about you. Spriggan Antler. Fancy tastes bad. Okay, smell good. Uh, I should, I should invest. Just... Can't even afford that. What's E anyway? E's not gonna help me. C. Oh, I wish I could afford both, but I can't. I'm gonna put in two for this and hope that I get the rare ingredient. Aren't enough money slots in the game to pique Baptiste's interest? He doesn't seem like he's obsessed with money, though. Um, fare thee well, Baptiste. Can we... Okay, we can rank up with Roxanne. 
Oh yeah, Roxanne is living in our basement now? And she can enchant things for us. To mask the fact that some of our potions may be a little unsavory. I just noticed this, like, coat... These coat tails? I need to know how Roxanne's outfit works. What is everything attached to? Maybe nothing. Let's rank up. This ought to be good. I gotta say, I like her demon form a lot better. She just looks cooler. As you can see, I've hit the ground running with my new enterprise. But cash flow is still a minor issue. Care to help me box up a few things for the pawn shop? Unless you'd rather just stand there and gawk. Sylvia helps Roxanne sort through a pile of junk. She has one box labeled keep and one labeled sell. Roxanne is clearly unsentimental. Everything ends up in the sell box. There are men's trousers, a beard trimmer, a signet ring with the stylized letter O. Wait a minute! Is this my uncle's stuff you're planning to sell? Whatever gave you that idea? This broom polo trophy for most combative player has my uncle's name right on it! Well, now I see where you got your argumentative streak. <sighs> Whatever. It's not like I was using any of this. I don't want to be tripping over Oswald's old junk any more than you do. I could certainly use a bit more elbow room down here. And yet, I shouldn't like to get too comfortable. It's more than a little embarrassing, you know. Running a business out of someone else's basement. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure people are more judgmental than you think, Sylvia. What do you think Roxanne would like? Yeah, how does she even get business in the basement? There's probably a back door she's not telling people about. Just dig a tunnel. How much money are we charging Roxanne for rent about that? Um, I really like either of these. Eh, who cares? Who cares what people think? If they judge you, it's more a reflection on them. Bravo, Sylvia. I dare say I agree with you. Although, in our line of work, we do have to at least pretend to give a care. Yep, know all about that. After all, the key to a successful sale often comes down to making your customer feel welcome. Wanted. Butter them up with a bit of flattery and they'll open their wallets, believe me. <laughs> okay, so the, the tails are connected to this, this coat that she's got. Temporarily increases price of potion by 15. Okay, so this is something else you gotta play at the end. Yeah, I can do that. Although, it's a little bit manipulative, isn't it? Oh, you're catching on. Who says you can't teach an old slob new tricks? No one. Literally no one says that. Regardless, I think you'll agree that such pearls of wisdom are worth a few square feet of basements. Not to mention the access you now have to enchantments. I'm quite skilled at the craft. And I assure you, this time around, the services I'm offering are legitimate. Why weren't you using these skills to begin with? Frankly, the margins on potion making are better. Enchanting requires a plethora of ingredients, usually rare ones. Whereas when you're making potions, you can simply throw any number of things into a pot. That might be true if you're making a fake potion. The real thing is more complicated than that. Sure, you know the difference. The average consumer, not so much. In fact, it's thanks to my talent for enchanting that I was able to fool so many for so long. My potions were a little more than water and dyes. But the bottles they came in, ah, uh, that's where the real magic was all along. So just imagine the result you could get combining my skills with your own. Go on, imagine it. I'll wait. <laughs> what? 
What is this 180? What do you folks think? Do we? I mean, Sylvia is a ding dong who obviously just goes all in. But it is Roxanne, who was being so rude to us earlier. How tall do we think Roxanne is? Extremely. 6'3", that sounds right. And that's not including the hat, most emphatically. Like, she's gotta be, like, scary tall, right? You know what would be worth more? Rent money. You know what, why not? You've won me over, hottie. I confess I'm feeling enchanted already. This feels so wrong. You know, if you wanted to flatter me, you might have tried throwing our match. Now focus, please. My eyes are up here. It occurs to me that despite my better judgment for the time being, we're in this together. As long as I'm operating out of your basement, I will benefit from your success, and vice versa. So let's put all the nastiness away and try to get along, shall we? Yeah, I was never really all that nasty, though, was I? Dear thing, if this arrangement is to have any chance of working, you really must stop setting up such tantalizing put-downs. She's got you there. This feels like the Francis is dating sim from Super Paper Mario. <laughs> Nerr. We don't know what Roxanne likes, right? I feel like she'd like bone. Probably not calamari. Uh, it's like the cheapest bone I got. Here you go. You know, I don't hate it. Okay. Maybe not. Um... Is there anyone else we can rank up with? I'd like to rank up with Muktuk. You'd think demons would enjoy bones and minerals. Not bones, I guess. Well, if we can't hang out or rank up with anyone... Um... There we go. Um... Oh, never mind. We can rank up with Muktuk. That's what we're doing. And if we rank up with another person today, we won't be able to open the shop, but that's okay. I feel like working on this and getting the coupons as well. Except we have no money. Ugh, we have no money. Ugh. 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 Okay, walrus. Walrus. I am glad for company. We got broke again, but... Spend money to make money, right? Gotta remember to sell mana potions tomorrow. Sylvia, it is good that you are here today. Are you not, after all, a mistress of mixology? As a matter of fact, I am! That is excellent, for I have great need of your talents. Come, let us bring color to this gray world. Muktuk fishes beneath his counter for tubes of paint, setting them out for Sylvia to see. He has white, black, and three primary colors. I wish to make a particular shade of purple. If you do the stirring, I'll provide the pigment. Muktuk combines red and blue paint in a glass jar, then bids Sylvia to stir with a small brush. Tut! Tis a plum color. Far too much red. Muktuk adds blue, and Sylvia stirs. Periwinkle! I fear we have overcorrected. Muktuk adds more red, then white, then, fearing the result is too pale, he adds a dab of black. Heather! Lavender! Boysenberry! I only want mauve, Sylvia! Mauve! Is this too much to ask? Sylvia isn't sure exactly what mauve looks like, but she can see they're going through a lot of paint. Maybe we should ask someone for a ratio? Yes. Yes! Of course! To continue down this path would be folly. But though Mauve has eluded me, I shall not despair. For there is bird song on the air, a hint of blooming flowers upon the wind, and. and. Oh, Sylvia, I am sorry, but I cannot continue this charade. The truth is, I am unhappy this day. So invalidating. 
Jeez. Yeah, it's not what mixology means, Muktuk. Baptiste does mixology better if the artwork on one of his cards is anything to cards. <laughs> is anything to go on? He is the bartender at the Heroes Guild. We all have our down days. I'm sorry you're having one now. Your compassion is the very balm my soul has been craving. So what got you down? I'm guessing this is about more than the paint. It is the work, Sylvia. The work weighs heavily upon me. The work? The great work! The masterpiece to which I am steered by my ancestors. It is at an impasse. I feel directionless. And, well, I had thought to make a request of you. But I find myself hesitant to even give it voice. <laughs> I feel like cute is... I like this... This version of his theme that makes me think of Groose's theme. Like, muck tuck, but make it more Groose. <laughs> the literal sad trombone. What do you folks think? You're cute when you growl, and I'll hang on a moment. I don't know, what, what do we think? <laughs> Sorry, this music is really funny. I love it. <laughs> Flex some more until you can hear their voices in your muscles. No, we have to pick the flirty dialogue with everyone. We have to, we have to. You're cute when you're shy. I like the softer side of you. Sylvia, if you intend to see me blush, well, you will find your efforts thwarted by my magnificent mustache. Form and function? That's so you. I feel very seen in this moment, and it is exhilarating. But, <clears throat> back to the subject at hand, yes? Sylvia, I would wonder if you would be willing to view my great work in progress! Under normal circumstances, I would never share a piece before it is done. However, I feel that your reaction, as a fellow creator, could be instrumental in guiding my next step. Wow, no pressure. Prepare yourself for an aesthetic assault upon the senses, the likes of which Rafta has never seen. Prepare yourself for... Untitled! Muktuk presents a dubious looking statue. So? What do you think? <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, I don't know. Is it a bird? Is it owl? It says so much about modern walrus life. Oh. Oh. I don't know. I mean, this one, if it's not a bird, is just going to be insulting. And this one is very insulting. I mean, at least this one's open-ended. You know? It's like, this is my interpretation of, of your magnificent, untitled, great work. Uh, but if it is a bird, though, we're going to look incredible. Like, how did you know? <sighs> I'm going to pick this one. It says so much about modern walrus life. The tension between modernity and tradition. Quite a daring statement, actually. Hmm. That's very nice of you, Sylvia. But it was a bird. Huh? Uh, I mean, yes. Yes, that's what I was going for. Obviously. Still, it is only just beginning to take shape. The important thing for now is that I must not lose heart. There are always moments of doubt along the way, but in art, the only true mistake is to produce nothing. Now, please, accept this token of my gratitude for your appraisal. <gasps> I got a coupon. Hey, now that's a thing of beauty. Thanks, Muktuk. And thanks for sharing your work in progress. I can't wait to see how it shapes up. 
Wait, you must. For genius cannot be rushed. I am very glad that you cannot see how much gesturing I do with Muktuk. With everyone, but especially Muktuk. Walrus flirting pays dividends. I forget, what do I... Is it just, just money for these, huh? More ingredients, but less magimins, which just seems worse on the whole. Okay, so I don't need a, uh, I don't need materials. I just need uh, money. I just need capital. <laughs> I love this cauldron. It's very funny. Why go for storm over ocean? I wonder. Because I mean, this just holds more. And also, it's a fish? Oh, and there's this one. Holds less, but more magimins. Muktuk has such good, like, themes, generally. Here is a coupon hands you a scrim shot. Oh, hang on a moment. That's right, we made a friend and addressed our cash flow issues. And flirted shamelessly. Um, we're, we're broke, so we're going- we're going back to the shop. Muktuk would never deny our coupon because it had- it expired. Like, Muktuk is too good of a dude for that. Yeah, I can't open the shop, which is a shame, but we can set stuff to brew. To make some mana potions so we can take advantage of Luna's, uh, stuff. Or her buff for tomorrow. Okay. Now that I actually have um, some ingredients, I can try and make better things. I'm wondering though if I should wait to use these ingredients um, and get a better cauldron first. So I can make- I have room for more ingredients and more magimins so I can make something of a higher quality since I'm gonna need pretty high quality potions for the competition. So let's focus on mana potions, I think. Okay. B and C, B and C, B and C. Boy, I don't really have a lot of bees and stuff left, do I? That's unfortunate. Well, uh, do I have any more bees? Like, cheap bees? Good enough. Good enough. Um. Uh, let's do that. This is not the most efficient thing, but that's fine. That's fine. It's not fine. Okay, um, I don't really have enough for more mana potions, so... Fire potions, good money. Um, use up the rest of my stinky fish. Stable though. Uh, do I want to use that? Not really. It'd be better to get rid of a river, river calamari and. Lip. Wait, how come? Oh, I've already got. I was like, why do I don't already have six things? Like, oh, it was overlapping the slime. <laughs> That's why. I'm not- I'm not balancing these well. Um, I don't have a C that's just four, so... Eh. Good enough. I'm- I'm trying to save the beetroot. Like, the beetroot's too good. I gotta save it for- for the- the big high-ticket potions that I want to make. Okay. You got that brewing. 
Um, let me have a look at her deck, too, before I call it an evening. Um, I'm so glad we got to see his, his work in progress. Um, so we do have flattery. So what does this do again? Let me see. Okay, it temporarily increases price of potion. This would actually be good for competitions, too. Um, maybe I'll leave it out for now. Okay, I am going to call it an evening here. But thank you so much for joining me on an unusual day, of all things. I am very appreciative of it. Um, so, Friday... Um, I will be doing Prodigal. I might do a little bit of the Splatfest on Friday, just for reasons. Um, but then Saturday I will be streaming the Pokemon Splatfest. I am Team Fire. I had to think about it really hard because I love Bulbasaur. I love Chespin. And I like me a Muddied Kip and a Totodile and Oshawott, but Score Bunny was like made for me. And I'm taking Fue Coco, and I, the best starters I've had in terms of just being strong Pokemon have been Infernape and Cinder Ace. So I kind of regret not taking Litten as well in Sumo. Not that I don't like my Rowlet, but her IVs wound up being very poor. And I didn't get a Mimikyu. Well, I mean, I caught a Mimikyu, but I didn't use it because, well, my, 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 uh, my Decidueye, her name's Leilani, is already part ghost, so felt like a waste. Anyway, enough me talking about Pokemon. I will catch you on Friday. In the meantime, stay safe, stay healthy, take care, have a wonderful evening. Good night. <laughs>